Hello there, Sir Fancy here. So you want to see magic in VR. You want to do magic in VR. Let's see what I can teach you. So of course you can fly, but that's not that impressive. So first of all, you can use grab a button to switch different kinds of spells from your hand. And then on a place where you put your teleport, you can spawn it and use right hand still to teleport. Let's try different spells. You can see that once I switch it, it's different kind of spell that I can use. And also you can use trigger button for this kind of spells, if you wish so. Just the magic stuff, you know? Alright, let's start by creating new project. So go in library, open your version of Unreal Engine, and we are going to make a game, and it should be virtual reality. Click next, and make sure that you have starter content, but we need to change it to mobile, because we want mobile starter content. Everything can lead to blueprint and you can leave it in maximum quality. And then let's call this magic... Okay, I already have it, so magic01. You can call it however you want. You know what? Magic2. That would be better. Let's create it. Alright, I just started and it seems like it wants to compile all the shaders, which I definitely want to do. And I would recommend you to go to project files, right here, forward. And we will switch project to forward rendering. That's much much easier for uh, rendering uh, for VR. So let's restart it. Alright, now now then I don't have any shaders to compile. It's possible that in your case the you will need to compile them now. But now let's close it and actually get uh, some assets that we will work with. Uh, let's first start in marketplace and if you are still watching this in June 2020, quarantine year, you know, <laughs> we can actually use advanced magic FX uh, 13, which is right now for free. So if you haven't activated yet, it's uh, this month for free, so use it and we will play with it. I have it somewhere here. So let's add it to project and the project is magic dot. To do at the project and another will be to add more effects that are for free and that should be this infinity byte effects if you find it in marketplace it will be for free it's for our god epic so let's place the epic and <laughs> add it to project this one is a little bit bigger so it will take a while but right now you should have enough effects uh, also within the starter content are some pretty useful effects so right now we should have enough to play with and you can see that in content browser we already have new files advanced magic and infinity blade effects so let's open map which will be virtuality bp maps and motion controller map and if we put some of these effects here let's look at advanced magic effects also it may be possible that it will want to compile your effects i have already played with them so they are compiled on my pc but it's possible that you will have to compile them each separately but it has only like 300 shaders or so so it shouldn't be a problem and you can you can see that there are some pretty cool ones all right let's get to actual work and just play around we will go to uh, content and create here a new folder that folder will be called magic and first of all let's go to blue, uh, virtual reality bp and take our motion controller duplicate it call it magic Spawn and put it in magic right here. Move it here and create a new blueprint which will be game mode. And that will be again magic. Come on, magic game mode. Click right here in the world setting and set game mode override to magic game mode like this and selected game object you will need default pawn class set to our magic pawn that's great right and last thing should be to delete this vr pawn and, and now let's get to actually program it so we can shoot it from hands and all the funny stuff you know famous wizard things just a quick thing this video will be split in two parts in this one we will just create visual parts and in second part we will actually create some magic that can kill somebody some pawns some characters and will interact with terrain with real explosions that will throw away stuff and so on if you are from the future which means next five days let's say because i will release the new video on friday then you already have link in description all right i'm gonna stop wasting your time and get to actual work so open magic pawn and we will set it up so that you use one one controller to control all the magic 
and second controller as a regular one to teleport anywhere you need to and pick up stuff etc etc so first of all let's disable this input action teleport left it's approximately here and what we will do is to actually delete this part execute teleportation so let's uh, get it from true and spawn editor uh, now spawn emitter at location and now the funny thing is to take this uh, this get teleport destination which is function we will steal from here and da -da -da, where was it right here connected here usually you have this little circle that you show where you want to teleport but we will set it up so you can spawn emitter and magic on that place so let's connect it to location and rotation and target should be this left controller and template let's do just something really quick some kind of explosion that looks always good you can click on this little thing and see how it looks like yep that's fine and let's test it in vr all right now in the air because uh, when we have deleted the default pawn, it means that it automatically switch to spawn where was the camera. So if you will in edit remove camera, you will spawn there when you start the game. And you can see that if I use the left hand and create a teleport on that place, once I release it, it will create this wonderful explosion. But we still have this thing, so we will get rid of it. And on the right hand, I can still teleport however I need. Okay, that's good. That's some proper magic. That's how I like it. Like the video if you like magic as well. Let's get back to magic, magic pawn. And first of all, let's get rid of that blue thing that we are, uh, once we are actually creating that explosion. So copy this disabled teleporter because that's exactly what it will do for us. And we need to simply connect it to this left controller. So you can take it from here, again, it's left controller. And put it right there. All right, that should fix it now. And now you can see that you can put there whatever explosion you want. Or not only explosion, you can put here literally whatever you want. For example, this, but not all explosion, uh, not all emitters will actually look good. And look at that. I can spawn these weird stuff. You can see that this emitter is set to uh, looping, so it means it will be forever there. I would be very careful about using this because it can get very performance heavy. All right, now we can spawn some form of emitter, but let's actually set it so we can switch between different kinds of emitters. So for that, we will save all, always save all, every single time you can. And let's go to Virtual Reality BP Blueprints and we will play with BP Motion Controller. First of all, we need to see what kind of magical spell we are actually using. So for that we will go to hand and simply add here text. Oh, where am I? Here. Add component, add here text actor, now text render, call it whatever you want. And let's call it current spell. And make sure that it's under hand mesh. First of all, let's make it smaller, world size and rotate it so it's above your hand. You can deselect the snapping tools, it will probably help. And make it a little bit bigger. I would go with six. It will be probably reversed, but we will fix it later. Okay, compile, and now let's get back to da -da, magic and motion pawn. Oh, it's just magic pawn, I don't know why I said magic motion. <laughs> And another thing we will destroy is this input grab left. We are not going to be able to grab with left uh, hand. So first of all, let's go this uh, back to the spawn emitter and promote it to variable. And let's call it current spell again. Current spell. All right, compile it. And go back here to grab left. Take it from here and set it to set current spell. And this one promote as well to variable. Now delete it and call it spell library and switch it to array and make sure that you save it well again because in this in with uh, this version of Unreal Engine it sometimes crash for no real reason. All right, that seems to work fine. We will see after compile. That's what I'm talking about. 
All right, I know that this really sucks, but we can't really do anything with that. It seems like some kind of bug. Let's try it again. It's everything is saved as you would expect. And again, try to convert it to array and compile. It worked now. The only thing you need to do is to do it several times and make sure that everything is saved. So now what we will do is to get this spell library and click in default value to these spells library pins or elements and add here as many effects as you want. Right, let's start by taking, uh, I don't know, shield beam. Another one will be definitely some kind of explosion because I just love explosions. Megumin. All right, let's take all these and now let's the magic begin, like real coding magic. We actually need to create one more variable and that will be integer called magic number for example you, you can of course name your variables however you want i literally don't care and let's set it to integer and put it here and by default set it to zero yeah all right so let's take this spell library and set it to get a copy and that copy will be set to our current spell now let's have some fun with magic number get magic number the grab button will be pressed we will set magic number and we'll set it to magic number plus one after that what we will do is to check what is the maximum so let's put here branch and see if integer is less than integer which means that if this is less than four it will render it true and simply set it to and simply set it to this magic number oh, we will actually okay sorry about that we will actually take this magic number and set it here so if it will be false we will set I will again set magic number and set it back to zero and we can actually go from here right here right we don't need to paste any notes so simply set, once you press the left grab button, it will take magic number, add one to it, figure out, uh, check if it's not more than four, or check if it actually is less than four. That's pretty much the same thing, but you know what I mean. And then if it will be true, it will take that current number, number and set it to number of array, which spell it should take. And if it will be false, it will set it back to zero. So you will be always uh, switching between one to four. Uh, or 0 to 4 of course and we have actually 3 of them so let's set it to 3 I always always forgot that we are counting 0 as 1 and then it will set it to current spell which will be set here so now we need to do what we need to do is to take uh, that current spell and set its name somewhere because we want to see what kind of spell we are using for that we will take a left hand controller and that's why we set that text here so take left controller, set text, set text current spell, okay, get name, get object name, and connect it here. Oh, come on. That should do the trick. Let's test it in VR. All right, you can see that on both hands I have this text, and if I press the grab button on left one, it will change the one on the left. It's reverse, but we will fix that later and it changes the name of that object. You can of course rename your object and make it sound better like something like explosion or something like that. <laughs> and if I cast it, you can see that it's switching them based on what text is right there. So you can create some really epic stuff. So the next thing will be to get rid of that text on the right hand and fix how reverse it is on the left hand. Let's go to viewport in BP motion controller and I always mess this up so it will need few tries and you will probably need to set the text reversed uh, on your way. And now let's delete this text at all. Just set this text and set it on zero which means that from start it will be set to zero which means on right hand nothing and on left hand after you press grab button it will switch. All right, it's fine. I will need to move it a little bit back but it seems fine. Look at that. So let's take that text and move it a little bit back. All right, that should be fine. And you can also use sound and all this funny stuff to make it uh, even better. Magic pawn. What you would do here is uh, when it's once it is true, let's play sound. 
at location because we want to play that sound at location where it will actually happen which means this location of teleport and what you can do is to also I will just put here some random sound it doesn't really matter because I don't have too many sounds here let's put here just explosion 0 0.2 and uh, let's make it a little bit quieter because they are, these are usually really loud let's put the 0 0.4 and you can also do same thing uh, right here as we did with this current spell if you want for different emitters different sounds which you probably want you can just set up the uh, same system right here just need to make sure that if explosion is zero, you need to have sound zero set to explosion. So if sound two is some kind of build up, you need to sound of build up have like that. That's pretty reasonable, I believe. So this all is pretty fine, but that's not everything, of course. Who do you think I am? I? Yeah, I know. I'm the guy with Patreon that you could support. That's just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not why you are here, I suppose. You are here to press the like button. And the other thing why you are here is to create more magic. So for that we will go to input, edit, project setting, and doo -doo -doo, input, create here action mapping plus and set it to trigger. And right now it depends what kind of headset you are using. I am using Oculus Quest, so I will use Oculus Touch and set it to left hand trigger. If you are using Valve, uh, you, I think that it's Valve Index uh, Left Trigger. Yeah, that should be it. First of all, we will no, need to go back to Virtual Reality BP Blueprints and BP Motion Controller. And let's add here one more arrow. Click on Hand Mesh and add here arrow. Call it Magic Powder and make it much smaller. Like 0 0.2. Do probably on all axes of course and let's set it approximately right here that depends where you want your spell to be spawned for example if you want to have it on your hand like this you will need to put that arrow right here but I need it here and make sure it's attached to hand close it and then let's get back to magic magic pawn and we will, what we will do is to add here that event trigger event trigger which is the one that we have set up before and after it will be pressed we will you know what let's just steal this thing we will just steal this one set it to something uh, i don't know that's kind of cool some kind of fireball look at that fireball strong let's use it because we are strong we are strong developers <laughs> and we will take left controller and I am actually really bad at this. We need to spawn different kind of emitter. Sorry about that. We will spawn emitter but attached. And again set it to that fireball. Fireball strong. We first of all need to take that arrow because we will take rotation and location of that arrow. So get a magic spawner is how we called it. Get magic spawner. From it we will get relative transform move it back like a bit split structure pin and connect location and rotation attach to component you can set to that magic spawner all right and we want to spawn it after it will be pressed all right wait, the problem is that we have chosen a really bad effect i thought that that would look cool it doesn't now what, let's actually do P, K, I, stab, no, how is it, under scroll, stab, this is one of these, uh, this month, marketplace items, and that should actually work good, hopefully. And you can see that that's, that's not bad, that's not bad, you can move that arrow a little bit forward, but it's not necessarily, look at that, that looks actually really cool, and I can switch it and create some explosions there, with sound. No, I think that's pretty good. And if I take a second controller and go here, yeah, looks kinda cool. Alright, that's everything for this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful for you. Stay tuned for the next episode. It will be out in few days. If you are from future, you, it, you know, it's already out. You can watch it right now, So, which I would recommend, of course, because it's a great video, even though I haven't recorded it yet. It will be a great video. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, I have a Patreon and I have a Discord channel. It's more like we have a Discord channel because there's a lot of us, you know how it works. There's communism, heavy communism. <laughs> anyway, if you want to join either, I would love to see you there and that's about it. Sir Fancy out.